Now you may be thinking right off the bat that the Romans lived a very, very long time ago and so this is more about history and it might be boring because it's old and so on. But I want to show you some places where you can still see Roman numerals. Now it depends a little bit on where you live but there may be old buildings, old government buildings, you know, the city hall, um, old churches and so on will, will quite often have Roman numerals on them. Old, uh, old clocks, even modern clocks sometimes. You see clocks that have Roman numerals on them instead of the, the normal regular numerals that we use all the time. Uh, where else can we see it? page numbers. In quite a lot of books at the beginning of the book there's a section called the preface or the introduction or something like that and so publishers quite often number those pages separately from the main part of the book and they use Roman numerals. Here's another one you may have come across. In Microsoft Word you can use Roman numerals to number pages but also to number lists so you can have a list of things and we use Roman numerals as uh, a way of numbering sub lists if you like so you can have a main list that says one two three four and then if you have parts of the list it'll use Roman numerals and the last one you might have noticed this yourself in Hollywood movies not in the movie itself but at the end of the movie right at the very end of the credits, if you watch it right to the very end, there's quite often a Roman numeral at the end saying the year that the movie was made. Okay, so here are the symbols that they used. There were seven of them, I should say, that we still use if we want to use Roman numerals. And they have these values. So the I represents one, which is nice and easy because they both look quite similar. The V is five x for 10, l for 50, c for 100, d for 500 and you can probably guess the m is 1000. So we have symbols to make numbers all the way up to thousands. We can't really go much further than that. There is an advanced way of doing it which I won't talk about today. You can look it up but basically we can show numbers up to the thousands using Roman numerals. So we can make up numbers by adding them together. So if you are 12 years old you could make that value by putting an X and two I's, 10 and two more. Um, if you have a relative who is say a grandparent who is let's say 73, how would you write 73? Well you'd write L for 50, two X's for two tens and then three would be three I's. So you can make up values like that by just joining them together and adding them next to each other. However, there's one tricky part that I must show you before you uh, know the system and will be able to make up your own numbers. And that is with numbers like this, if the one is in front of the five, that represents four. So there's a subtraction method that is used in the Roman system and 1 before 10 you can probably work out now is 9, it's 1 less than 10. So if we have a small value in front of a big value of the next place or, or the same place then we take it away. So I'll just show you the symbol for 6 is the other way around. So you do have to be a bit careful because you might get those two confused and the same with this. Here's 9 and here's 11 and that's the same idea. All right, so those are the basic rules, those are the ways that we make up numbers. You can have quite a bit of fun with this um, and I think you're going to enjoy it.